Hey guys, Ninjaland Games here with an early Splatoon tips and tricks video for the multiplayer in Splatoon. Really cool game. Let's check out some tips and tricks. These tips and tricks are going to be really amazing for you. Going to help you get the edge at the beginning. These tips are pretty basic. It's still pretty early in the game, but it's going to give you a little bit of edge if you don't know what to, to expect going into this game. All right, so let's get started. First off, this multiplayer is a team-based game, so you want to work as a team as much as you can. Cover each other's backs. When you have one person on your team spraying ahead of you, you can slide forward using your turning into a squid and sliding around. That's going to be the fastest way to move around the map. The movement's really important in this game because you're trying to cover the most area that you can. Uh, one point about the area control. Uh, the walls do not count towards, towards your final percentage, so you want to get the. You got to remember that it's the ground. The floor is the most important thing to cover with your paint. So that's what you need to be really watching out for, and you want to constantly check in your map to see how much area your opponents have. A really huge thing is to use elevation. When you're higher up, you're going to cover more area. Basically, your weapon's going to shoot out in a further range when you're higher up, so you can cover in a circle, you know, 360 degrees. You're going to be able to cover a lot bigger of an area when you're higher up. I don't see very many people using elevation yet, so get up to the top spot as fast as you can. I mean, you're going to be a target when you're standing up there, but if, you're, if you have no enemies around you, you're going to be able to cover the area a lot faster. You, you can reach further by shooting further. Okay, this one is a huge tip for you. You start from the dead end and cover the area and then move forward, you can basically block out your opponents from the area. So if you have your whole team at the top of, I know there's one map in particular, there's a huge area at the top of the map that's a dead end. If you use that area, basically you cover that area and then you start guarding the area off with your teammates. You can just block your opponents off of the map, the huge por portion of the map. They won't be able to get into that area at all. Uh, mo I've won multiple games just by holding the top area with me and a couple people and I just would camp the area. I mean, it's basically turning into kind of like a king of the hill. If I, if, if, but if you have your friends with you, or if you have uh, just people online, hopefully they'll be backing you up. So if you guard the the areas that are dead ends, and you move forward on the map with with teammates, you can basically kind of sweep the map as you move forward, and uh, kind of guard dog the area, and just take out anyone that comes in there. You can really just dominate huge parts of the map and your opponents can't do anything about it. The only way to stop a team that's trying to do that on you is if you take out the whole team uh, or have your teammates take out the whole team. So it's it's going to be pretty difficult. There's a lot of maps that aren't quite like that. They don't really have that many dead ends as well. But on some of the maps, you could think of that as your starting point because that's a dead end, right? So start there and move forward. As long as you have your teammates covering each area of the map as you press forward, You'll basically just be sweeping forward with uh, with your color of ink totally filling the, the map. Another good way to get that going fast and get that uh, teamwork going and getting that sweeping motion of your team, just have you sweep through the map together, is by respawning on someone. So right when someone goes down, just have them respawn immediately, jump right to where you're at. And if you're in the dead ends, you know, the parts of the map where you can't get to unless there's only one area to, the squeeze points of the map, then basically it's going to be really hard for the opponents to get through. If, if they have constantly having teammates respawn on you, it's going to be really hard for the opponent to take you down. One of the big portions of this game is to box your opponents into an area. As you, as you and your teammates push forward, you're going to try and box your opponents into one area of the map. When they get into that boxed zone, they're going to be quite stuck there because they can only respawn on each other. And so the further areas you push them into, uh, the tougher it's going to be for them. Now you need to watch out for opponents coming in from side angles, getting in areas that you need to be in. So the other thing is to try to use your specials, time them well. Um, try to time your specials to stagnate them off so that you guys can, I mean you basically want to use them at the most pivotal points that you can. But if you can stagnate them between you and your teammates, you're going to have a lot more firepower coming at the opponent as well. Uh, one more also just quick tip, you can, uh, you can even though the walls don't count for your percentage total, uh, you can actually uh, duck into the walls as a squid. You can go into the walls and hide there and pop out and get people. It's a good way to get people. But uh, basically other the other tips I have is just learning the controls very well, learning to slide around, duck into the puddles as much as you can. Uh, use the dodge techniques to slide in and slide out. But uh, ultimately, if you want to succeed in this game, it's going to be a team-based game of you dominating different areas and just pushing forward. Don't let your opponents get into the areas that you've already covered, uh, especially if they're dead ends. Around the area where where you spawn, honestly, it doesn't matter as much too much on some areas as long as it's not a dead end. 
Anyways, so these are some tips for you on Splatoon. Hopefully I have some more tips to come. If you'd like to see more videos about Splatoon, please like and subscribe and I will get the message and put out more videos for Splatoon. Anyways, thanks for watching Ninjaland Games and have a nice day and have a nice weekend playing Splatoon this summer. I really like the vibe of the game. It's got a really nice summer vibe to it and it seems really fun. It's a really cool new IP from Nintendo that, you know, we haven't gotten in a long time. So it's, it's going to be fun times. Anyways, have a nice summer. Have a nice day.